welcome back to James Powell YouTube channel where we give the news, tech, and more. Today's episode is brought to you by the Stack on Elite Name the 72 inch gun safe. It's a tall fireproof safe with electronic lock and it is black. It's a factory installed door organizer with Sony holsters and pouches. The keypad can be silenced. Electronic lock batteries accessible from the front of the safe. So, this episode is brought to you by them. Click on the link below or go to jjmediaonline.net slash gun safe. JJMediaOnline.net slash gun safe. So let's get on to our video today. In the midst of all this craziness, I wanted to do a different video instead of going to news articles, going to uh, what is happening in a roundabout way now. I want to kind of talk about some of our rights. And I will have um, all these links in the, I'll just have the link to this, um, Cornell, um, the law, legal information. And if you watch the news, there, there have been several that have had their First Amendment rights um, violated. So let's, I'm digging in just a little bit of what is our First Amendment rights. We're talking about the Constitution um, of the United States. The First Amendment rights. The First Amendment guarantees freedom concerning religion, expression, assembly, and the right to petition. And I have seen video, uh, videos and articles that have violated, violated most of these. It forbids Congress from both promoting one religion over others. And I am a I am a Christian. I'm a conservative, and I believe very very strongly in the Judeo-Christian values and the evangelical world. Um, it and it also uh, forbids Congress from restricting an individual's religious practices. And the thing, this this is huge. It guarantees this is this is what makes the United States different. It guarantees freedom of expression by prohibiting Congress from restricting the press or the rights of individuals to speak freely. It also guarantees the right of citizens to assembly, assemble peacefully, and to petition their government. Again, this is what makes the United States different. So, I want to go ahead, I'm going to click on, uh, it prohibits Congress promoting one religion over others. So, those that push uh, Muslim before anything else, we we were based on Judeo-Christian values. That's, that's just the bottom line. But the First Amendment's establishment Clause prohibits the government from making any law respecting any establishment of religion. This clause not only forbids the government from establishing a, an official religion, but it also prohibits government action to unduly favor one religion over another. Hmm. Muslims? Can I hear people say they, they favor that over Christianity? It also prohibits the government from unduly preferring religion over non-religion or non-religion over religion. So, uh, I'm not going to dig into that. I, um, I'm wanting to dig in more to the restricting of uh, the free exercise clause. This is, it forbids Congress to restrict an individual's religious practices. And we have actually seen that happen in the past few weeks, church services, Easter time was the big time for for the Christians, and and of course, the Attorney General Barr has already come down on some, but but 
this kind of the local at the local level some local politicians need to, the local sheriffs need to understand they cannot break the constitution they, they cannot go against the constitution but the free exercise clause reserves the right of american citizens to accept any religious belief and engage in religious ritual free exercise clauses of the state constitution which protected religion opinion expression of opinion and practice were expressly protected by the free exercise clause so that is that is huge okay now freedom it guarantees freedom of expression and it doesn't look like it digs in here um, and it goes through several different different things and then the, this was the big thing religious uh, practices but and then it, to assemble peaceably um doesn't look like it shows anything oh rights of assembly and petition okay um let's just click this constitutional law communication of political economic social and other views is not accomplished the public forum um okay this just goes into deeper things rights of assembly and petition okay the right of Petition recognized by the First Amendment, First Amendment of Prominence in the 1830s when petitions against slavery in the District of Columbia began flowing into Congress in a constantly increasing stream. Of course, it gives the examples of the, the different cases. So, okay, what this is doing is the precedent is set. The Enforcement Act of 1870 typical date from firing and going into the highways and premises of another to intimidate any other, other person. So, but you have the right to assemble and to protest. Um, let's go back here. Free exercise of religion. Okay, freedom of expression, speech, and press. Okay, and there again, some more cases. Freedom of e e expression. Probably no other provision of the Constitution has given rise to so many different views with respect to the philosophical foundations. Um, okay, and it goes in talking of different the expression, speech, press, petition, association, and the the bottom line is we have freedom of to assemble peacefully and petition our government. So I know this is a little bit different. I normally use the news articles and stuff, but I want to kind of kind of dig in, and I'm going to have the link to this if you want to uh, to uh, read it yourself. Have that in the the video. But we have a First Amendment. This is the United States of America, and we have rights. Stand up for your rights. Don't let any governor. Don't let any local politician don't let any any congressman representative and it doesn't even matter even the president of the united states we have rights as u.s citizens stand up for your rights thank you for watching we ask you to subscribe share like our video and we look forward to bringing you the next video